I know everybody's heard of Alzheimer's and dementia, but most people have no idea what it's like to experience the symptoms. Time to suit up. Get a plastic cup and fill it half full with water and drink it. Now I have no idea where I'm going. I've completely forgotten what I was supposed to do. I tell you, you know, right now, I actually feel depressed. Man, I hope I never have to do this. Okay, Jim. No, it's not, it's weird. I mean, that was just a simulation and it just, it really affects you to see what your loved ones can, get, can go through. That was a clip from a health scare experiment that we did last year when Dr. Shears actually spent a day finding out firsthand what it's like to have Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's dementia, the sixth leading cause of death here in the US. And because of the loss of mental capacity, it destroys a patient's physical functioning, identity, and sense of self. So I want everyone to take a look at how Alzheimer's actually affects the brain. Because normally, when things are working, there are billions and billions of cells in your brain, interconnected, constantly communicating sending signals to one another, helping you process and store information, communicate. Different areas of the brain are involved in different processes, everything from thinking, reasoning, emotion, sensation, motor movements, vision, hearing. All of these things are necessary to communicate and function normally. But unfortunately with Alzheimer's, plaques and tangles can prevent nerve cells from sending and appropriately receiving signals. And as various areas of the brain are damaged, irreversible changes occur.